My name is Siobhan Mullaney. I'm a chemical biology team leader at Sanford Burnham Medical Research Institute in Orlando, Florida. And uh, I am here at our co-PIs with uh, Steve Vasili, and we are team MicroGRX. And our payload is a, uh, a biochemical experiment. It will be the first uh, solution-based experiment to uh, be tested on the plate reader that's up on the space station. And so there's really three purposes to our payload. So first it's to test the technology, uh, which is this um, plate-based molecular pharmacology experiment. And this, uh, the plate reader measures light, and so we're going to send up four plates to measure absorbance readings, fluorescence readings, uh, and then an experiment called fluorescent polarization. And so these technologies really haven't been done in this kind of format, which is using this plate, which is the size of an index card. And there's 384 wells, which is essentially 384 different experiments you can do on this index sized plate. And the plate reader re can read this plate in about 15 minutes. And so you can get quite a bit of information uh, in a pretty short time and do a number of experiments and solution. And so it's really to, to open the door to this new technology um, on the space station, which is really commonly done in pharma, biotech industries every day uh, here on Earth. So uh, now it's, you know, we're kind of replicating it on the space station. So number one was to test the technology. And then two the, is to validate this plate reader, which really hasn't been used. Uh, it certainly hasn't run solution-based experiments before. And so this will be one of the first to, to really test it out to create that baseline. You know, if you're a musician and you go to a new stage, you test your chords, you tune your instruments, it's exactly what we're doing here, is uh, tuning this um, instrument and seeing if it's, it's working the same as an instrument here on Earth. And then, so the third is to actually do a biochemical experiment. And this experiment is measuring a vitamin found in milk uh, binding to an antibody. So it's a very common type of uh, experiment. It's looking at molecules interacting with one another. And we use a technology called fluorescent polarization, which is the, uh, the vitamin is fluorescently labeled. And it's, uh, will, it can give a fluorescent signal based on its uh, rotation, something small rotates uh, slow in and fast in solution, but when it binds to something much bigger, like an antibody, then that binds slower. And so, you know, the, the ratio of something slow to something big gives you different fluorescence readouts. And so you can titrate in uh, one with the other and get a, what we call a, a binding uh, parameter, and that just uh, gives you an indication of um, the potencies of, of these two interactions. So just as you would look at a drug binding to um, some protein in, in uh, tissues, uh, which we call drug discovery. So it's, it's really a basic kind of drug discovery experiment. Uh, and so that's the third um, uh, purpose that uh, objective for our payload.